Hello and welcome back. I'm Jerry Romine and we've entered a real choppy stage of the market where blue chip stocks are losing steam. Plus, I even picked up a short term sell signal for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That doesn't mean the Dow is going to crash, but it does tell me to be cautious, especially with some big name retail stocks reporting this week. The good news is we've got five stocks I'm looking to buy this week and three are big names. Plus, I have two new ones. And when you see these two, I know you're going to be impressed. Before we dive in, be sure that you like, comment and hit that subscribe button so you never miss out on my videos or stock buy alert. I also want to let you know about a real special offer from Moomoo and you can get five free stocks worth up to $3,500 each. These stocks are awarded with a random generator so you've got as good of a chance as anyone to win them and more importantly Moomoo is an awesome platform with no commissions for US stocks and their mobile app is one of the best I've seen. Be sure to check them out. All right and for today we are going to cover five stocks to buy now and I'm going to give you the shortest crypto minute ever. Let's kick the day off with a success story from DJ Chill. Let's kick the day off with a success story from DJ Chill. I sold some crypto profits on Friday to lock in those profits. Thank you for teaching me how to fish. I never banked my profits before and got left bag holding. My portfolio was down 50% at one point, but not even sweating it now that you've smartened me up. Thank you, sir. You are most welcome. And after what happened to crypto yesterday, I bet you're really happy that you banked those profits. Every day you see the success stories. And if you're not in my discord, you're really missing out on our trade alerts, hot stocks, and customers indicators. I think it's an easy decision to join and when you can make back what you would spend in just one trade, it's really a no-brainer. Whenever you're ready, come join us. All right, now's the time to grab a huge cup of coffee and hang on because this is not your normal stock channel. Let's start today with Tesla. They are down almost 20% since their recent high and continued to sell off yesterday, dropping another 2%. This huge sell off is all related to Elon, the world's richest man, selling off about 10% of his stock. This really isn't a big deal and happens all the time with other companies, but since Elon is in the spotlight, it seems 10 times bigger. Let's not forget that Tesla is a disruption to the auto industry and against all odds, they are now the largest car company in the entire world and they've done that without spending a dollar on advertising. I see this huge drop is a buying opportunity. TipRanks has Tesla rated as a moderate buy. We've got a high price target of $1,400. And if we scroll down here, we can see some of the different price targets coming in. Uh, Wed Bush at 1100 Bank of America, 1200 We got a couple low ballers here. Uh, we've got this fellow at 380 uh, No stars by him. We got another one at uh, no stars and he's at 300 we also have 1400 1200 so there's a lot of higher forecasts coming in, and I am still very bullish on Tesla. We're now looking at Tesla in Thinkorswim. For my indicators, my top one here says that we're up 20% in the last month on Tesla. Over three months, they're up 52%, and one year, 148%. For profits, I'm up 78.5%, and that was over 100% recently. Looking at the chart here, we can see it had a nice gradual upward trend, and then it shot straight up. This is what we call too much, too fast. It always returns back down to that 20-day moving average, and it went a little bit lower, and now we're hoping that it's gonna come back and bounce up. Looking at our two indicators at the bottom. We've got the momentum dream and we love to buy when the momentum is up and we love it to be green on green. And if it's red on red, we say you're dead. So normally on red on red, we're not looking to buy. So right now I definitely want to buy Tesla, but we want to wait for our indicators to change just a little bit. And if we get an early signal or we go back to green on green, that's the time that I'm going to sneak in and buy some more. Next up, we have Facebook, and they're down about 10% over the Facebook papers and are even being sued by the Ohio Attorney General, plus they have securities fraud accusations. Facebook is also rebranding the company to the maiden name, and many believe this is a way to separate the name of the company from all of their current issues. A few years back, Google did the same thing with the parent company becoming Alphabet, so it has been done before. Plus, it makes sense for the new company Meta to separate Facebook from their other business entities as they expand into new businesses that are detached from Facebook. While Facebook has a a lot of noise going on. They are already bouncing back. And at the end of the day, they are still a very profitable company with a whopping 35% profit margin that is three times higher than the industry standard. Combine that with a 49% rule of 40 score and a forecasted revenue growth of 37%. And I just don't think you can go wrong with Facebook for the long term. Facebook is rated as a strong buy. We've got 29 buy ratings, four hold ratings, and zero sells. We've got a high price target of 466, and that's about a 33% upside. And the average price target is 41030. And if we scroll down here, we can see a lot of the different uh, price targets coming in. A Bank of America 400, Evercore 430. So lots of upside on Facebook. So this is a temporary setback. Still very bullish on it. 
Looking at Facebook on the charts, we can see they had a really big fall from 384.33. They dropped all the way down here to about 311. They're starting to come back up. Looking at our momentum dream indicator, our momentum is up. That's this green dot right here, and that's the first day of our buy zone. So we love to see that. And looking at our buy sell indicator, we've got a short term bullish trend in the buy zone, and we picked up a buy alert yesterday as well. So this is a great time to consider getting into the stock. We'll pick up another buy signal whenever this 20 day moving average crosses crosses over the red 50 day moving average. And if we look at my risk management bar, this is assuming we've got a $25,000 account and we want to risk 5% of that account. That would be $1,250. Our golden question is, will I risk $96 and buy four shares for $1,390? And that risk of $96 is based on a 7% trail stop. Our target price would be 383.58 and our profit per share 36. Our third company is Airbnb. And this is a post pandemic play that we've been cashing in on now that travel is rebounding. We loaded up on Airbnb before their earnings announcement with both stocks and options and we're already fat on those profits but we're not done yet and I'm looking to buy even more. Before the pandemic, most of Airbnb's business was in or near the cities, and now the majority of their business is outside of those same cities. Airbnb has really adapted their business model, and they have made 150 changes to their business model, including verified Wi-Fi speeds, which are more important for working nomads like myself, to offering pet damage coverage for homeowners. Airbnb has nearly 6 million listings, which is more than ever. Long story short, I'm looking to buy more Airbnb stock, and I think you should too. On tip ranks, Airbnb is rated as a moderate buy. For me, I personally consider this a very strong buy. They've got a high price target of 250 an average price target of 194.41. Uh, scrolling down, we can see a lot of buy recommendations where all the prices are coming at. And one of the things I love to look at on tip ranks are their news stories. So we just come over here, scroll down and hit news sentiment. And this is one of the easiest ways to find a lot of different news on a stock. We just simply scroll down. And if we're looking for all news, here it is, bearish news or bullish news. We can pick whatever we want. And for some reason, these guys seem to pull the best articles on any stock company I've found. Airbnb has a beautiful chart and we can highlight a couple of great things on this chart. Let's start at the top with my TOS bar. Everything is lime green and that's our first clue that things are going really well. In one week, they're up 3.4%, one month 22.5% and over six months 53%. Our volume is up 74%. Our current profit and loss is 26.2% on our stock. And if we come down and look at the momentum dream indicator, we can see our momentum is up. We're stacked and we are currently in the buy zone, which we love, but I want to draw your attention to these red bars right here. This is what's called a squeeze and we love to buy in a squeeze when the momentum is going up because a stock typically trades sideways in a squeeze and then whenever it releases, it shoots up or down. In this case, it shot up and we actually bought right before the earnings report. They had a great earnings report so we've been able to ride this entire gain and we're sitting very pretty right now. If you're looking to add more to your positions, I'd recommend waiting until it comes back down closer to that 20-day moving average. Looking at our golden question, on our risk management bar, and that is, will I risk $112 and buy six shares for $1,243? Our target price is $235, and our profit per share would be $27.98. And if you're wondering why you're only risking $112, that's because you have a trail stop set at 9%. Our fourth company is Vicor, and they are a leading global power technology company focused on advancing power delivery with modular power components. They have a $7 billion market cap and are involved in industries ranging from automotive to satellite. I just noticed the CEO of Vicor had a large insider sale, and if he was Elon Musk, that would tank the stock. We'll want to watch the stock today to see if anyone even notices. Vicor is rated as a moderate buy. They've got an average price target of $182.50 and a high price target of $200, which gives it 24% upside. And now we're looking at a chart on Vicor, and this is probably a new company to you. Its ticker is VICR, and when you look at the chart, this is absolutely gorgeous. Take a picture, frame it, because this is what we want. Looking at our TOS bar in one week, they're up 1.7%, one month 9.2%, and then we've got lime green for two months through two years, and they're actually up 309% over two years. Our recommended trail stop is 8%, so it's not a very volatile stock. We love that. The volume is currently up 19%, and my current profit or loss is 2.2%, and I just added to this position yesterday. Looking at our momentum dream indicator, we can see our momentum is up, and we just entered the buy zone for two 
two days, so we love seeing that. We also picked up another buy signal three days ago. And if you want more information on my indicators, there's a link down below. Vicor also has a revenue growth forecast of 30.6%. And when you look at this, you just have to ask yourself, is this a train you want to ride? For me, it is, so I'm on board. Definitely one you want to consider. And our fifth company is National Fuel, and they just popped onto my radar with a buy signal from one of my scans. Their stock symbol is NFG, and they are a diversified energy company that produces natural gas and oil. They have an impressive profit margin of 21% and an absolutely gorgeous chart. Plus, with a worldwide energy crisis, I think this profit-making company looks great. Next up, we have NFG, National Fuel Gas Company. They're currently trading at 6063, and I thought I'd show you a different screen on tip ranks that gives us some great information. They've got a smart score of nine, which means they're outperforming the market. We can see the consensus is a moderate buy, and the average price target is $69. Sentiment is very positive. Blogger opinions, we've got a bullish sentiment. Hedge fund activity has decreased. The technicals, the SMA is positive. The momentum is also positive at 53.73%. Inside our activity have bought shares over the last three months and then we've got some fundamental data here as well. Tip ranks also has some great earnings information so here we can look at the history on earnings. The blue here is the estimated and the orangish color is the reported so over the last year we can see that they have been beating the estimates quite handily and their quarter one estimated are going to be 129 which is a big bump from what they just reported. And looking at our chart on NFG, we've got a lot of great things we can highlight. Let's start with their revenue growth forecast. It's 29.7%. And looking at our momentum dream indicator, we can see we had a very nice buy zone right here that matched up with our buy sell indicator. A great time to buy. The stock shot straight up. And then at the top here, we can see we went red and we went pretty much neutral on the bottom. And then we went red on red. So the stock traded sideways, entered into a squeeze. So we love to look for points to buy in a squeeze. And then it just fired out of the squeeze just yesterday and we also popped a buy signal. So this is one that I plan on buying today unless the markets are doing something crazy. And if we're looking at the risk management bar, the golden question is, will I risk $62 and buy 21 shares for $1,273? Our target price would be $65.07 and this I love. Our trail stop is recommended at 5% and our profit per share would be $4.44. And I mean a 5% trail stop says this stock is not very volatile. Volatile. We've got that energy crisis. They're growing their revenues and we popped a couple of buy signals. So this is one that I'm very excited about. Definitely one you want to consider. And now it's time for the crypto minute where we see if anything looks good to buy or sell. No hype, no drama, just technical analysis made easy. In the last day, cryptocurrencies dropped 7% because of tax provisions in the new infrastructure bill. So let's jump over and look at the cryptocurrencies and we can see everything here is all red. So we're going to keep this one really short because they all look the same. They're all pretty much red on red in the daily chart. So we're dead. So now we want to watch and wait until we get some better buying signals. As always, thanks so much for hanging out with me today and make sure that you like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. And if you want some free stocks, free crypto, or to earn up to 8.6% on your money, check out my promo links in the description below. Peace, and I'll see you on the next video.